cultural alcoholism and drinking cultures around the world. For centuries, alcohol has been a fixture in human culture, pervasive in its influence. This has resulted in a phenomenon known as cultural alcoholism, where excessive and problematic drinking is normalized within a given culture or social group. Every society has had its social norms and ideas about drinking, which have significantly impacted the history of many cultures. Unfortunately, when drinking is steeped in culture, it can lead to the development of alcohol use disorder, or AUD. AUD is a chronic relapsing brain disease characterized by compulsive alcohol use, a total lack of control over consumption, and negative emotional states when not using alcohol. These cultural norms can significantly impact the prevalence of alcohol-related issues, and it's essential to consider them when considering the effects of alcohol. Each country has its distinct drinking culture, from Germany to Mexico, that is fascinating and worth exploring. In Germany, beer is the drink of choice and is consumed in large quantities at outdoor events like Oktoberfest. It's a culture that has been around for centuries and is still as popular today as ever. France, on the other hand, is all about wine. Wine is an integral part of French culture and is enjoyed with meals and during celebrations and social gatherings. A glass of wine with lunch or dinner is standard in France. Mexico has a unique drinking culture. Tequila is the drink of choice. Tequila is the drink of choice at parties and celebrations, and brands like Corona and Dos Equis are widely consumed. In Japan, the drinking culture is heavily associated with the business. After a long day of work, it is a custom to go out with colleagues and enjoy a glass or two of sake, the traditional Japanese rice wine. In Russia, vodka is the most popular alcoholic beverage consumed in large quantities at social events. It's also seen as a sign of hospitality. In Ireland, the pub culture is well known, and Guinness, a dark beer, is a common tradition. Whiskey is also a popular choice for many Irish people. Italy is renowned for its high-quality wine, such as Chianti and Barolo. Wine is often consumed with meals and is an integral part of Italian culture. South Korea's drinking culture is heavily based on the social hierarchy. It is common for the more senior or higher-ranking individuals to buy drinks for the subordinates. Soju, a clear distilled spirit, is a popular alcoholic beverage. In Australia, beer is the most popular alcoholic beverage. It is often consumed in outdoor gatherings and sporting events. Wine and cocktails are also trendy among Australians. When it comes to drinking culture in the United States, there is great diversity. Different regions and subcultures have their preferences. From beer to wine and cocktails such as margaritas and martinis, the U.S. has a wide range of alcoholic drinks. The United States Prohibition era from 1920 to 1933 was a time of significant change and upheaval. The passage of the 18th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution made it illegal to produce, sell, and consume alcohol, leading to a rise in criminal distribution networks, speakeasies, and bootlegging. This caused a ripple effect in the country, leading to the Great Depression and, ultimately, the U.S. involvement in World War II. The effects of alcohol and drinking culture have significantly impacted the Russian Empire and the Soviet Union. The Opium Wars were fought between 1839 and 1842, and the Second Opium War from 1856 to 1860 directly resulted from the conflicting views on the right to trade opium. These wars significantly affected Chinese society, and the consequences are still felt today. The number of people who drink too much and its effects on them and society are continuing issues. Alcohol has been a major factor in many of the significant historical events of the past centuries, and its influence is still felt today. Its impact on economy, law, order, and society is undeniable. Cultural alcoholism is a situation where heavy alcohol use is normalized and encouraged within a particular culture or social group, leading to an increased risk of addiction and related problems. It is essential to seek help if social drinking becomes problematic or if you suspect it may be an issue in your community. Treatment options may include counseling, support groups, or medication-assisted treatment for AUD. With proper resources and support, it is possible to address alcohol-related problems and positively change one's drinking habits.